I don't agree with Jay's assessment that they deserved. They the were respect. three minutes from missing the playoffs entirely. Okay, great. <laughs> that, that's that's fine. And they didn't, right? Like in the regular season, that's the playing tournament. In the regular season, they were they just seed. Didn't, they just didn't make they didn't make shots. Like they like they didn't play poorly. They didn't make shots. They missed wide open threes for the first sixty five games of the of the regular season. You no See, their they, they, their offense was gross though like it was disjointed it wasn't what you expect from a Spolstra Miami Heat offense at all if they're and not it's different making, now it's totally different now hundred percent it's if they're not making thirty if they're making thirty five percent of their wide open threes in the first sixty five games of regular season I'm with you like it doesn't look good but I wouldn't say like they were like oh this team doesn't take this like they didn't make shots. They had guys but not making shots. That's a function shots. of the offense. They had the wide offense o- to miss wide open threes. Gross. To miss wide open threes. No, this is the same thing as game one where people are like, oh yeah, this is going to be a sweep. Denver, uh, Denver's so much better, so much more dominant. Like they didn't make shots. They didn't make wide open shots in the first game because their offense sucked. Agreed. Okay, you just called They're generating you, looks. You just called Max Struess an unflappable shooter. Well, he was zero for nine, and most of those were wide open looks in game one, and he went four for but, ten in game two. How is those like, guys what? struggled to make shots because the offense was bad during the regular season. The offense no, was no. If was, you're generating wide open shots for those guys and they're not making it, how is that bad offense? It it's was, bad result, but it's not bad offense. Brad Stevens once said, "A good shooting offense is a good passing offense." Uh huh. And and I believe in that. And they weren't. They honestly, it was a, it was too much stagnation. It was not the Heat offense. If you watch them at all during the regular season, if they I weren't watched flying them around at all, screens. get the fuck out of here! If I hit me with, if you watch the Heat I, I, at all that, the regular that, season, that, was I, I wasn't, that wasn't a sh- that wasn't a shot at you. That was I promise that wasn't a shot at you. They, they they just weren't flying around screens like they normally do. There there wasn't all that motion. There wasn't like the fourth quarter last night was just special offense. Duncan Robinson is flying around screens. He's he's Duncan Robinson put up 10 points in two two minutes and 15 seconds and flexed. And he flexed. Has, has he done that he in, his, in, in his life? <laughs> he hasn't done this since the bubble. He did in the bubble. He hasn't done this since the bubble. <laughs> he he's he hasn't he's done that since he signed best, for 90. Like that's <laughs> he's he's so hard to guard. And he because you have to run him off the line. And when he when you do, he can beat you back door. He he's flying around screens, he's forcing you to come up, and then guys are making bounce passes off that to somebody cutting in the lane. Like that changes things to me. His insertion in the lineup and playing more minutes is a a big deal for that offense. Um, I truly Tyler Hero, the ball stuck in his hands a lot. It just did. And and they don't have that anymore. They have guys who make rapid decisions around Jimmy Butler, who's going to make great decisions and take care of the ball and do everything you want. So I don't think this offense was remotely similar to what it is right now during the regular season it just wasn't and and so now it's it's totally different and and the the pointing to they're just making shots now i think totally overlooks all the progress that they've made and that this is real this isn't a fluke it's not it's not some small sample size thing like they've been right. awesome offensively process wise throughout the playoffs well they've done the spurs thing and and they've done this historically in the playoffs right they are exchanging good looks for great looks, but they're getting a lot of them. This yeah. is my 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 biggest takeaway from game one. There was no reason, except for maybe Bam uh, not touching the ball as much, right? Yeah. There was no reason to change anything because they were walking into wide open shots. They yeah. just didn't make them. And so in game two, when they hit them, like at, right at the jump, I was like, well, that makes sense. You, you're not going to miss forever. Although Max Strews, uh, aside from hitting four straight threes, has missed again <laughs> like a bunch of shots. Yeah. So like let's he didn't, worry he didn't about hit that after streak. he didn't hit after the first quarter, <laughs> but, <laughs> which is but which think, is noteworthy. Yeah, but this is just I mean a function of their good offense, and this is with everyone clicking. This is with with everyone playing like adults. You know, you don't have Tyler Hero out there throwing the ball around. You don't have you don't have the bad defense. Is really the big thing. Because often some of their bad defense when they had to play lesser defenders turns into good offense for the other team. Yeah. Right. But also turns into bad offense for them because they are not able to take that, uh, that defense and and turn it into offense for themselves. So I just think when you're not playing any lesser defenders, even Duncan Robinson's out there 
defending pretty well, using his length, it, it makes it much easier for your so, offense to capitalize, right? You someone, someone told someone told Duncan Robinson, "Hey, by the way, you're six eight. Yeah, like by the way, that go, go be six eight. If they win a title, we got to do the thing that we do with max contract guys where we're like, oh, he's old. He's going to be overpaid for two years. Yeah. Ah, But it was worth it because you want to ring. So if they win the title, we got to start saying, you know what? They overpaid, but it it was worth it. I think he gets, I think it guarantees like 10 million non-guaranteed if they win a title, by the way. I think I saw that on Twitter of, of Duncan Robinson's Amazing. contract. 